this is what they wanted to do, right? Go to the moon and then never go back to the moon? Thor News is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Claps of thunder announce this process somewhere on Earth as often as 50 times a second. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... I'm talking about comets. Because comets are silly until they're deadly. Well, jump in Jehoshaphat. Well, wow. Here it is, your up-to-the-minute update on Comet 252P Linear and P216 Badass Big Asterisk 2014. Comet and fragments approach Earth. Is this some sensational YouTube headline? No, I plucked this straight from spaceweather.com, bitches. Yeah, that's right. The two comets that, all, that only us super hip, super educated YouTubers have been talking to you about Comet 252P Linear and P2016 Badass 14. They'll be close approaching Earth on the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Well, they came out with a report a couple days ago saying that these comets should cause a meteor shower on the 28th, and now Space Weather is telling us that the comet and fragments of the comets are approaching Earth. Let's read the story and find out, shall we? On March 21st, Green Comet 252P Linear will fly by Earth only 5.4 million kilometers away. The fifth closest cometary approach on record. Remember that the Library of Alexandria was burned down and uh, they destroyed all the real good records like 700 years ago, 1,000 years ago, something like that. So most records are kind of shoddy before then. One day later, a suspected fragment of the comet will pass even closer, 3 million kilometers. The name of the fragment is P2016 Badass 14. And Greg Rupel has photographed it zipping among the stars over Animas, New Mexico, on March 18th. Click to view a 40-minute time-lapse video. We'll do that in a moment. I observed 2016 Badass 14 using a 10-inch telescope and an STL 11,000 Deep Sky CCD camera, says Rupel. By all accounts, the comet fragment is pitifully faint. The parent comet, however, is relatively bright indeed. It is now on the threshold of naked eye visibility for observers in the Southern Hemisphere. Last night, Gerald Hyman had little trouble photographing that 252P Linear's green atmosphere from his backyard observatory in Nambia, Africa. Wow. What's the matter, bro? Why can't you put your observatory in the front yard? Are you ashamed of having your own observatory? You know, <laughs> uh, that's a running joke, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't been watching these videos, you probably won't get it. You'll down thumbs me and be like, that guy's a jerk who doesn't know anything. All right, let's continue. I used a 12-inch telescope for this 360-second color exposure, says Rayman. The comet is green because its vaporizing nucleus emits diatomic carbon, C2, a gas which glows green in the near vacuum of space. The verdant color will become even more intense in the nights ahead as 252P Linear approaches Earth. There is a chance the comet's approach could cause a minor meteor shower, according to the International Meteor Organization. This would be due debris from the comet hitting Earth, causing a wonderful sky show. Blankets of fire across the sky. Mikhail Maslov indicates that there might be a weak episode of the faint, very slow meteors on March 28th to the 30th from a radiant near star Leopardus. Little is known about meteors from this comet, so estimates of the meteor rate are very uncertain. Maslow's model suggests no more than 5 to 10 per hour. All right, so then I declare the back end a fragment. Let's hope more of it doesn't fragment. And um, we will keep you posted on this very interesting story that is now only two or three days away. Awesome. Hey, maybe nothing's going to happen. Cats are like dirty cat, duck, dragon, unicorn, Casper ghosts. Where at first they sound really neat, and then nothing spectacular happens. Asterix, supposedly. Siding spring fried Mars and caused mountains and melted terraforming and shit. Uh, I kind of made that up. Kind of didn't. I don't know. It's science. You can't really verify this stuff. But I thought I'd keep you guys posted and let you know. Uh, we'll keep our eyes on the skies for meteors, fireballs, crazy stuff, spacecraft. Anything. I don't know, man. It's the weekend. I'm gonna try to have a good time. And life has been really stressful for me the last three months. And people have been like all over the world bitchy and complaining and whiny. And like half of them think Donald Trump's the new Jesus and gonna save America. And I don't know. It's just weird, man. So I've been in a bad mood for like three months and trying to be in a good mood for like today and tomorrow. So you can be in a bad mood if you want. I'm gonna try and be in a good mood. So smoke them if you got them. Hug them if you got one. And uh, why don't you stay away from my girl, dickhead? Peace out. God bless everyone. We are over at Earth's busy neighborhood. Looking at how busy Earth's neighborhood is, and wow, that's busy. See all those things like GR33 and EOS55 or whatever? Earth is in this dang middle, and all that is space debris, space rocks, celestial garbage that are zipping past Earth. 
looks pretty busy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right. I want a top commentary reporters in the world bringing you what I know. I give you information that has been given to me, and then you can decide. All right. Stay cool. God bless everybody.